Hey guys, it's Keith, and welcome back to Shadow of Mordor. Uh, played the f whole story before, completed that. Played the first DLC, Lord of the Hunt, where we went off with the the el not the, el the dwarf. And now it's time for the second DLC, which I think is going to be the last one, called the Bright Lord. As Calibrimbor wield the might of the One Ring and challenge Sauron's claim to Mordor. I believe we're going to be going back to when Calibrimbor, which is the elf that's possessing the main character in the other parts of the game. I think we're going to go back to when he was not a ghost yet. I think that's the, the basis of this. And we're going to be actually engaging in the story. Like we got we got backstory about how he was betrayed or how he, how he dealt with Sauron and how he made the One Ring and everything. And I think we're going to get more intimate detail on that. So let's see how things go there. Middle-earth is in great peril, Calibrimbor. Show me. My mirror shows many things. Those that were, those that are, and those that may come to pass. Some things never come to be, unless those that behold the visions turn aside from their path to prevent them. Dark Lord has the One Ring. I do not stand against him. Middle Earth will fall. Take care, Silverhand. If you defeat Sauron and take the one, you may become something far worse. for the elf! Don't let him escape! Do not shame us! How did he escape the Dark Lord in the first place? Don't matter! Stop asking questions and keep your eyes open! Sauron's army is without number. My kingdom lies in ruins and my family is in chains. And yet, in the One, I have a weapon that could reforge my fates and illuminate the path through this darkness. There he is! I'm back, bitches! Tutorial, Power of the One Ring. Activate the power of the One Ring by clicking both sticks. While active, the One Ring slows time and grants you invisibility, unlimited fire arrows, and unlimited executions. Additionally, captains lose their immunities while active. Ooh, that's a big deal. Captains having immunities is like one of their primary strengths. Although, depending on how this goes, this could potentially sort of diminish one of the more interesting parts of dealing with captains, so we'll see how it goes. Recharge the power of the One Ring by branding enemies. What's interesting is that, uh, it might not be true for this character, but for the main character of the main game, uh, one of the executions is branding people, so if you could do, go into unlimited executions mode and start spamming brands, you could just have an entire army of people around. So this will be interesting. Hey, everybody. Don't mind me. Just gonna activate. Die. Oh, yeah, there we go. Combat brand. Combat brand. Combat brand. Combat brand. Combat brand. It's gonna be a little hard to, to select new people at some point because there's so many dudes around here. Yo, Dagger, I heard you like branding, so I got you some branding for your branding. Alright. Oop, that guy's dead. Well, I have a whole army now. I have a power greater than death. I will forge these Uruks into an army of my own. As the first Dark Lord tortured and corrupted the elves, I will redeem them in flame. They will be mine! Tutorial Shadowbrand. Hold left trigger and tap circle while aiming at an enemy to shadowbrand your target. So left trigger. Alright. Tutorial Ranged Mode. Calibrimbo does not have uh, Wraith focus when using his bow. Time will not be slowed while aiming your shots. However, L2 will shoot a more powerful arrow than before. You no longer need to charge your shots for maximum damage. Okay, cause that, that makes sense. No wraith power, cause I don't have a ghost possessing me, cause I am that person. But he was just a badass. He was already just a badass uh, ranger, so he's just gonna already be good at that stuff. 
Zero to twelve, brand enough Uruks to control the region. Bonus objective: avoid detection. Well, I think I'm gonna go for that bonus objective because I probably have a whole new progressive progression system. Whoa. Okay, so right off the bat, here's all the uh, here's Sauron's army. We have it looks like we have a series of five war chiefs, and we also have these guys. So we have we have little characters on the map that are also uh, quest related, as far as I can tell. Where where am I exactly on the map? It looks. I could be wrong, but at first glance, it looks like we're back in the first zone of the game. Which, you know, good good trade-off, because they had me in the second zone of the game before. I could be wrong, though. This could all be new, potentially. We'll, I'm sure we'll get a good chance of looking at it while we explore. Look at weapon, weapons of runes. What kind of stuff do I have to pick from? Sword legends. Defiant to the end. Never surrender as you gain additional last chance to return to the fray in combat against the Uruks. So I have, a, I have a sword rune that stops me from uh, being uh, executed, at, probably just once. It says we have 10 out of 10 sword legends, bow legends, and dagger legends. Maybe that's just because of me doing that kind of stuff in the main game. So that I don't have to worry about doing legends for those specific things. And it looks like all of these skills are already on... Yeah, everything's already purchased. So it looks like even though I'm playing as Calibrimbor instead... I still unlock. I still imported the same uh, skill tree from before. Something looks new, though. Summon followers. Press left on the D-pad to summon branded Uruks to aid you in battle. Up to five will be called in to re reinforce you. If they are killed, you can summon replacements. If a branded captain resides in your current location, he will be summoned. So I understand that uh, this makes sense to me, and it's one of the things that I kind of wish was in the main game: is that you can brand uh, you can brand enemies all throughout the game, but. If they don't happen to be near you when you're fighting guys, you can't really use them to fight. Like, once you branded enough people, there would just be a random... They would sort of just randomly distribute around the map, and you just would get lucky if they were nearby, and they might help you. But it looks like you can actually summon them directly to you now, the way I kind of wish you would in the main game. I'm cu I'll be curious to see if this game features any major stuff, because the, uh, the other DLC, uh, it changed... It, ha it added a new, ver a new uh, variation of every monster in the game... And it also added new ways of interacting with all of them, so we'll see how that goes. A lot of elements will definitely be different because I'm an elf now, instead of someone, instead of a human ranger possessed by a ghost. So I have elements of elven swiftness, but I don't have the same ghost powers anymore. We're gonna head into the area we're expected to explore in, and hopefully I'll be able to get through without being detected. And ho hopefully I won't have too much trouble with the fact that I uh, am playing this game once again for the first time. Since the last DLC, it's kind of how I go. Let's try to brand this guy. Hopefully, no one will see me. And success. Now he's on my side. Now he's on my side. So if I do that eleven, if I do that eleven more times, we're set. Should be easy enough. If I can get, oh, this guy will be easy. He's up on top of a hill. No one would ever see me up here. Cue some. Oh God, there's a guy right here. Uh, uh, uh. There we go. <laughs> Got to act fast. Before the guy just happened to turn around and ruin everything for me. And oh, elf shot needed. Well I can just I can just drain this asshole. Give me more elf shot, buddy. There we go. You're fine. Just shake it, walk it off or whatever. Whatever you orcs do when you're injured about something. There we go. So this this beginning part might be a little repetitive, but I don't think it'll be hard for sure. Uh oh, someone noticing me? I saw an arrow. Uh flash brand hit square and X. With a charged hit to flash brand nearby Uruks. Uh, to high, to the higher your hit streak, the more Uruks you will brand. So that's square and X. So that's new. I had an AOE before, but it, didn't, it definitely didn't brand people. So it looks like branding people is going to be a big part of how my powers manifest themselves in this game. Oh, they want me to hit X and square right now? Okay. Yeah, I sure branded all those zero people that are near me. That was exciting. Uh, this guy, I think, might be able to see me. So I'm just going to go take care of him before... I have to worry about him detecting me. And there's another one! Uh-oh. Uh Uh-oh. Nope! Did you hear that? There we go. Oh, need to drink less Just gonna do a little bit of climbing. We'll be fine. Just gotta avoid that detection. Else, Come on, buddy. Just wander over here where I can see you. I guess I could attract him, but I'm, I'm worried that I might get myself caught here. Captain, Trying to play it cool. So we'll never run out of supplies. Quickly, 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 quickly. I can stealth brand this asshole. Here we go. This is just the beginning. I will light a flame that will be seen from the very pinnacle of Baradur. 
can't have you seeing me, buddy. You got really close, too. Uh-oh. More bad guys. I was worried for a second there because it gave me a, it gave me the red symbol that indicates that he found me, but uh, looks like I successfully branded him first, so even though he noticed me, did not kill my... As far as I can tell, it has not yet killed my bonus objective. Is that guy on my side? Yes, he is. Okay. Just gotta be a little careful about the order in which I go after these people. Let's try to let's try to drain this guy for more uh, more elf shot for my ranged attacks. There we go. Oh, I killed him. That he, that probably means I have one less guy branded in my total. Whoopsie. No one noticed me. Oh, I'm in the middle of a place where I'm bound to be noticed too. We'll just be we'll just be careful about it. Sneaking on in. No one's current looking at the mini map. No one's currently looking at this guy, so I should be safe for the brief moment. Then I can fly in to brand this asshole. Keeping this streak going. Alright. Getting real close. So far, successful Oh god, no, I didn't mean to do that. No, stop, stop. I'm not even pressing buttons right now. Okay. That got at it. Wow. So this is a very relatively powerful character. He can just casually chain from enemy to enemy like that. Drain this guy, hopefully he doesn't die. There we go. Just need more elf shot to continue. So there's someone right over here that's looking the other way. There he is. I see you on the map there. Hope you weren't too attached to your previous value system. And other and you know everything about how you ran your life and things like that. No big deal. You just I just redefined your personality and now you work for me. Uh-oh. Bonus objective. Avoid detection. Is it still active? No, it's over. Okay, so now now I can be detected. In fact, it looks like... Oh, I am already detected. Okay, good to know. Uh, Thrakrak Brackthorn. What the hell is that? Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pull up and go behind this wall real quick because people are all mad at me right now. There we go. I was trying to remember how to zoom in on this dude. Uh... He's damaged by combat finishers. He's invulnerable to ranged. He's a monster slayer. He's invulnerable to stealth. Uh, he oh, he has a charge attack like a like the the generic like video game like bull character attack where they run in a straight line. He's hard to kill. He heals. He cannot be terrified, and he has a lot of followers. So basically, relatively dangerous character. No big deal. He just he, well, the fact that he's vulnerable to combat finisher makes finishers makes him a little straightforward, but. Man, he is equipped to fight you in combat, considering that's the, the primary th way of fighting him. I wonder if I can mark him from up here. Has he seen me? Whee! Nope, invulnerable stealth. I should have thought about that better. Hello, friend. What do you think to accomplish here? You are a dirty thief! True power belongs to the Dark Lord! I made... Dirty thief, I've made this shit, and now I'm gonna brand you. Oh, that is a con... Oh, shit. I thought that would, I thought that would count as a combat finisher brand, so the, I thought he'd be vulnerable to it. Oh well, I just keep, I can just keep spamming these finishers on him for a little while, because I've got unlimited of them for a bit. Let's try a brand now. Still unsuccessful. How about a ground pound one? Uh oh, that's not good. Oh, this guy's after me. Oh right, I don't, I don't have my, uh, my jump over people's heads. I don't do the the cool stun anymore because I'm just an elf now instead of a cool ghost man. Flash brand, you guys will work for me now. You will build a tower in my name. Erect a monolith for your bright lord in defiance of the shadow. Well, that was a good start. So we, we just built a tower. Oh, we're going into Saints Row territory where I'm trying to conquer the map. Stay in Mordor. You think to challenge me here, but you will fail. Your spirit will never see the halls of Mandos. Without the One Ring, you are nothing. I will tear down Baradur and rebuild a region in the ruins. Release my family, and I will let you serve me, bringer of gifts. All right, so I can press left on the D-pad to summon. It says I have five followers. Press left to summon. That's the exact... Yeah, this is the same prompt I read earlier. Okay. Just trying to remind me about that. Let's look at the map. What kind of situation do we have? So, 
It looks like instead of capturing already existing towers, I'm going to be building them in the first place in this particular game. And already we have side quests and main quests, but everything's locked right now. What does this say? You must capture more strongholds in order to draw out this war chief. More main missions to reveal. So what? Is there anything on the map that it does say I can do right now? Tools for the task. Take control of the region and construct a forged tower in defiance of the Dark Lord. Defend your war machines and defeat the local captain to clear the way for your forces. Is there anything closer? There is, but I've already read that one. Let's just go for it. <laughs> Let's just commit. So do I still have infinite fall da- Okay, no fall damage, because I, I still kind of go into wraith mode. I'm not sure what to make of that. Go ahead and grab this. So the progression system is going to be a little different here. Probably not going to be a lot of collectibles in this DLC. But it looks like I'm still going to want to... I'm probably going to want to do side missions, because they're probably going to do some kind of upgrades. Maybe they're... Maybe the side missions unlock special abilities for the one ring, which I apparently am using right now. Which would explain why we're able, why Sauron is able to... Or Sauron, Sauron, I don't know, is able to directly communicate with us. There's a... Ooh, it's a body. That's the easiest kind of intel. I'll go for it. We're going to be... Um, I assume at some point it's going to be like, get all the war chiefs. So I might as well start getting some intel here and there. So it looks like I don't need to get intel on these guys. So I'll go, I'll go after one of their lieutenants. Nazdug the hunter. I won't go after the basic, the more specific information. Like, I won't read any of that right now, just because it, it'll be relevant later. But for now, th that would just be too much reading about something that could come up five episodes for now, for all I know. So we're headed towards this particular quest. Uh-oh. Ghouls are around. That's fine. I can, I'm sure I can outpace them. Oh. Are they doing range attacks on me? Pesky ghouls. They mostly die in one hit. I don't have time for your bullshit right now. This is turning into quite the run. I think I'll just see you guys when I get there. Oh yeah, by the way, the corner of the screen clearly says brand the war chief, zero out of five. So I, I guess that does mean we're gonna be branding all the war chiefs again. I figured as much. Uh, no matter how much they iterate and add DLC to this game, that seems to be the basis of every piece of content and every content is always like, yeah, better get all the bad guys. All right, take command of the region and construct a forged tower in defiance of the Dark Lord. Defend your war machines, defeat the local captain to clear the way to your forces, for your forces. So. Apparently we're gonna have we're gonna have war machines in the process of forging this tower. Okay. Let's see how that goes. Return to me what is mine, betrayer. I taught you everything. Without me, you are nothing. The ring will never serve you. Every moment you resist, your family will suffer. Silence, Deceiver! I forged the rings! I perfected the one! You will bow before me! So it seems logical to just kind of- oops, wrong guy. It seems kind of logical just to sort of spam this, uh, this awesome AoE ability. Just start branding people. Alright, there we go. So that's this one down. So there's a second bat- there's a second war machine down there. See if I can get- uh, can I get down to there? Can I target them? There we go. So my bonus objective is to keep both war machines above 50%. Okay. I'm gonna run over here. Ow. Rude. I'm trying to run- oh, there's- uh, we're already there, I guess. I'll summon some allies if I can. I'll start wailing on these dudes. Oh, be ready for any counterattacks I need to do. I need to get that combat multiplier high so I can keep AoE branding people. Seems relatively straightforward. Maybe even overpowered as I continue. Alright. You guys on my, on my team now? There's a lot of- there's so many allies here, I can't tell who's bad and, or, Oh, there they are. Somewhere over here. Oh, I just attacked air. Because I'm that good. So pro. Oh, cool. So critical hits are still a thing, so I can still do crazy, uh... I can still get multipliers on my, uh... On my combat multiplier that where they go, it goes higher way faster. Alright, there's enough enemies nearby. I should... Yep, I win. Protect both war machines for two, do two, two minutes. I'm sure we'll be fine. So keep them above 50% health. Okay, so this I already have a ton of allies here, so we're in a good shape. Oh! Oh! He's a berserker type dude. Makes him a little hard to fight de dead on. He's not a he's not a war chief, is he? Here, let's see if he likes me doing this to him. Oh! Is he deflecting it? Nope, he's mine. Now I've got a big scary guy on my team. Uh let's see if I can get over there. They're oh, they're in trouble over there. Let's get busy. Yeah, some of these guys are a little hard to deal with. But I'm just gonna wail on some dudes. There we go. I just keep the combo rolling, we'll be good. 
Whatever, I can use the ones that are allied to me as a combo multiplayer too. It's, it's fine. I don't feel attached to them. They're fucking orcs. Who cares if they're on my team? Death to all the orcs. There we go. Sufficient multiplier means that I get to brand everybody. So apparently I wandered off for like five seconds and everyone that was on my team somehow managed to die. I'm not sure how that happened. Hey everybody, want to join my team? There we go. I feel like some sort of like door-to-door, -door, like so someone who tr tries to convert people to their religion or something. Oh cool, my multiplayer is still going. That'll be good for my ongoing branding efforts. Just gotta keep them. Yeah, there we go. Please? Success. There's so many on my team right now. I don't even know how many are on my team. I'm sure we'll be fine. Oh, where are all the bad guys at? There they are. Join me. Ow. Oh, crap. Wow, one hit. My entire multiplier is gone. Tutorial. Consume. Hit down to kill all branded orcs and monsters. A portion of your health will be restored for each branded minion killed by consume. Uh, I don't like the fact that it'll kill all of them. That's a little dangerous. What if I want them on my team? Uh, unlimited branding, motherfucker. <laughs> I just remember that I can just su I, when I, I remember that I can just summon my ring power, so I can just run around and start doing unlimited uh, summon. Uh, is there a guy up here? Oh, there is a guy up here. Shit. I don't know what to do about him. Can I can I, can I get down, please? Oh God damn it. Oh well. You're mine. Stop hanging out on this cliff and being pesky. All right. We have to we have to last ten seconds at this point. We got this. Just hopefully one of them doesn't get lower than I want to be. Hey friend, you're the last kill. Congratulations. <laughs> you only needed to survive for like three more seconds to not get killed. Defeat Bulbo the Gentle. Well, isn't that an adorable name? All right, so I successfully kept the uh, war machines high on health, so now I just need to go in for the kill. No. No problem there. I don't need convincing. All right, let's see if I can find out information about him, though. What do I know? He's damaged by stealth and ranged attacks. Uh, invulnerable to combat. So I'm just gonna. So don't fight him one on one because he'll he'll destroy me. Uh, he becomes enraged when I'm when he burns. So don't do that. So go for ranged attacks and stealth attacks if I can. So if I can, does that mean I can just like point an arrow at him and just stealth and like just brand this asshole? Okay, let's uh, let's go back down off the cliff again. He's kind of taking off in weird directions right now. That makes him a little hard to track. Oh, there he goes. He's going way down there. I was going to do a stealth uh, range to move on him, but then he uh, got into an awkward position for me. Let's see how I can do. It says I can only summon two guys, which is weird. I thought I had a lot more allies on my team than that. Please don't notice me right now. Just going to jump down for a second. See if I can get him right, just like this. Hey, friend! Join me! Oh, he didn't join me? That's a bummer. Alright. Uh, what do you mean, leaving the missionary? I'm fighting the, my objective. <laughs> Silly game. It's like the opposite of leaving the mission objective. M mission area. Alright, I'm out of arrows. That's a problem. Can I, like, can I drain you? Enough games! Your kingdom was crushed beneath the might of our dominion! There is nothing left for you but cold death! If I'm in for cold death, I'm taking you with me. Let's summon some followers. That'll be funsies. I don't have to wail on some dudes. I can build a combo a bit. I can start making some of these guys my guys. Ow. Or I could mess- or I could completely miss my counter opportunity and lose the combo. Because I'm a pro who has definitely played the other two campaigns of this game and learned well from my previous a actions, clearly. I'm so good at this game. Alright. Keep building it up. Oh, that guy, that, that guy kind of fucked up and killed that guy. My bad. Alright, now that we're built up a bit, I can go in for the kill, maybe even brand him. I hope. Oh, that guy got him. Well, I'll take it. It's, a, it's at least a success. I just kind of wanted to make him on my team. Let all see my power grow. The shadow shall burn. All right, so we we re, we've now conquered. Oh my God! So uh, that region's a little bigger than I was expecting it to be. Oh no! I teleport. But that guy dropped a rune. You have 
abandoned all reason, elf. You cannot hope to stand against me. There is no victory for you here. There is only death. You know who I am, Sauron. Do you not even dare say my name? You put too much of yourself into the One. You are right to fear me. I'd believe you if you talk about how doomed I am, if that wasn't what every protagonist of every game always said. Alright, so there, wherever there, there's the sword. That That's the betrayer icon dropped by the guy I killed. What's this over here? A war letter. Well, let's investigate that, why don't we? Alright, we'll, we'll go on a little trip. Oops, went the wrong way a little bit. First, I'm gonna go for- ooh. Can I- can I- can I brand a Karagor still? Oh, those are not Karagors. My bad. I saw them- I saw the, uh, claw icon from the map and- oh, Sorry, I'm holding the right trigger to run. You, you hold down X to run. My mistake. So I wanna head down here. Oh, my, looks like my allies are still here from before. Alright, so this is a safe place to be. I'm gonna go for this- this, uh... This rune that was dropped. And from here, let's go ahead and, and equip it, I think. Whatever it is, it can't be bad, right? Uh, increases all weapon damage by 31% when hitting an enemy from behind. That's good, because I like to I like to flip up in the air and, and, and hop behind people, so that will be handy for me. I'm gonna head up to this war letter I see in the top corner of the map, just because I would like to investigate. I assume it's gonna be the, uh, this DLC's equivalent of Torvin's Journal, meaning it's the, uh, probably the through line of, uh, audio logs for the game. So there's, there's a lot of, uh... I'm already seeing a lot of branded Uruks in the area that are here to work for me. It's gonna make things easy if I just consistently have allies around. I think I see a symbol for a Karagor over there, but I'm not gonna go for it right now. Just oh god, hello, hello, surprise Karagor. Oh, he's he's got his, he's got his hands full, his paws full. Lots of lo lots of orcs to kill in the area. Don't, I don't need to deal with him. So let's try to scale this area. Somewhere up on this fort should be. The uh, war letters. I'd like. To, I should look up or something whether or not this is the same area as the uh, the main game, or if it's new to the DLC. Let's see. Looking at this place. Oh yeah, I think there's a camp I was at before. This looks really familiar. I think this is all the first area of the DLC, which would make sense. The game has two con not two continents, but two zones, and the first DLC was in the second zone. It makes sense that the second DLC might be in the first zone, because it makes it easier to. Uh, you, you, you have the two DLCs feel different from each other without having to m make whole new regions. I doubt they made an entire new region just for this $10 DLC. So here's our war letter. I assume it's an audio log. We'll find out. Never trust an orc from the Nam Ungul. They've been around those spiders too long and been too far from the Dark Tower. They've forgotten who their lord is. They'll fill you full of southern grog until you go to sleep dreaming of too many legs and clacking fangs. And then, when you wake up hanging from the roof, they'll slit your throat just to see the big, black, juicy grin on your neck. Well, orcs certainly aren't trusting each other very well, which I'd expect because they're all, they're all shitbags. Uh, looking at this though, this is weird. This is like video game concept art like this is the type of art you would see on the steam page that like heavily doctored like we're trying really hard to make the game look pretty type of art so it's weird to see in the context of a, like being in the middle of the game specifically was it in upgrades no appendices there we go so it looks like there's six war letters uh everything else is stuff i already have okay so we're gonna have six audio logs over the course of this game apparently that's the first one all right, I think that's actually less than there was in Torvin's journal. Notice, I, I've heard this. I've heard this game's supposed to be longer than the first DLC, but I am noticing that it has. I think it. I think it has less audio, loss, less audio logs, and I'm noticing it also has ten achievements where the Torvin one had thirteen. So we'll see how the scale plays out. So I have access to a story mission down here, one way over here, but rather than do any of those, I think it makes sense to go after Petty Mines just because it's it's a close closest to a waypoint that I already have. Alright guys, I'm actually, I'm actually honestly out of time, so thanks for watching like always. Hopefully this will suffice as, an, as a first episode for this DLC. I'll be sure to play through the rest of it in short order, I hope. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm always happy to go come back to Shadow of Mordor. It's just a fun game, so more content's always good. I just hope that they add a new, enough new mechanics to, to make it feel worthwhile. 
they did a lot of interesting stuff with the animals in the previous DLC. So if they do something quirky and, and new in this one, it, then that'll be enough excuse to come back to Shadow of Mordor. But the last thing I want to do is just see DLC that's like, Alright, welcome back to the old region. You're going to do the same thing again, but this but slightly different dialogue plays before, beforehand. Therefore, it's new content, because it isn't. And if I wanted to replay the, the main game, I would just replay the main game. So we'll see how it is and judge accordingly. Thanks for watching, guys, like always. I'll see you next time.